So Scott, that brings me to another point uh, that you, you brought up in your presentation right at the beginning. It's the fact that Montgomery County spends $3 billion a year yeah. funding the schools. That's, that's about 47% of, of the overall budget of the county. Um, where is the disconnection? Is that not enough? Or, or, or do we have a critical issue with the processes inside MCPS that are conducive to the lack of education that we see? Um, I'm sure you're aware of several candidates to various positions, elected positions in the county are saying that Montgomery County used to have schools that uh, were the top 100 schools in the country. We no longer have any public school that ranks in the top 100. So where do you see the disconnection? So because this is a small and sophisticated group, I'll, I'll get a little wonky on you, okay? Um, right now, Montgomery County is number one in the country in the percentage of its budget that it spends on staff. Okay, so think about that for a second. So right now, Montgomery County, of the $3 billion that we spend, roughly 91% of our budget goes towards staff. So on the one hand, that's amazing, right? I think we're committed to um, people. This is a people business and, and that's where, that's obviously where your big investment should be. But that's a good 10 plus percentage point greater than most districts. So in other words, most districts are spending closer to 80% of their budget on, st on staff. So my question is why, right? And um, I just started having this conversation with HR and with um, teaching and learning. And it turns out that we are really well-intentioned, but it goes back to what I said before, which is that we throw a lot of resources and a lot of programs at things, and then we let them happen. So what I'm really working on, and this is the reason why I'm saying that this is, I'd only say this to a small and sophisticated group, is because it, it starts with this idea of coherence, and Samantha's going to smile right now, because this is one of the courses that I teach uh, at GW, which is being really clear about what as a school system we're trying to accomplish, a theory of action, and then aligning system structures, resources, and staff around that theory of action. Right now, MCPS doesn't know what its theory of action is. So it's really hard to align all of those elements in a way that is effective and efficient. So we don't know whether this money is working or not because we're in a very well-intentioned way we're throwing it out there and we're not being thoughtful about how we're using it um in a in any systematic manner so i i think what i what i'm trying to do behind the scenes is to help the administration be very clear about what's our theory of action and i can talk about that for a really long time but i won't and then our are we staffed in such a way that's consistent with that? My answer right now is almost unequivocally, no, we are not. So when you ask me the question, Mauricio, um, is 3 billion enough? Right now, I would say, yes. I, I, wouldn't, put another, I, I wouldn't put another dollar uh, more until we understand the number of people and the types of things that they're doing. We have restorative justice coaches, we have literacy coaches, we have math coaches, we have science coaches, we have school improvement coaches, we have, which is all great. It's all great. And again, it's all well-intentioned, but imagine being a principal of a school, having 10 different types of coaches coming at you, trying to help you. And it, again, it's well-intentioned, but there's just no way you can make coherent, you can make any coherent uh, uh, approach to school improvement that way. And that's what I'm really trying to work on. And that's more of a behind the scenes uh, question, which is why it's not part of my typical um, comments that I would make to, to a typical campaign group. This is, a, I just have to chime in for, it's the, when I was an education reporter, they called it a Christmas tree school. Yeah. They just put the ornaments on and it looked good or people would come in and they would convince the staff and faculty, you know, do this for the district and they would, but it, you just light it up, basically. They're not, yeah, thoughtful and coherent. Absolutely. So. 
I, I absolutely. actually love that as a great image. And sort of when you think about it that way, it's it's not how many baubles you have. <laughs> yeah. That's right. Yeah. And this is long and complicated. Again, it, to your other question, Mauricio, it's like there's no silver bullet to this. Like it, it's going to take work. And the, dis the, the administration is already starting to take that work. And I'm going to be sort of helping and monitoring that because that's what I do with other school systems. And I think that, again, that that's a, the type of lens that's gonna be very, very helpful um, on, on the school board.